We're going to Peru to continue flying south on my quest to fly the Pacific Coast of the Americas. Today is our first full day here in Peru. Uh, we've driven down to the coastline so that we can take and unpack all of our equipment. And today is going to be a day of assembly, uh, testing, uh, maybe a little bit of flying, and uh, hopefully everything will go back together the way it came apart. C'est la van qu'on doit avoir dans les prochains jours. On vient d'arriver. Et puis, euh, dans la première okay. heure, on a découvert que les feux ne sont pas bons. Les serrures ne fonctionnent pas, l'air climatisé ne fonctionne pas. Donc, on se demande si on ne va pas changer pour un autre véhicule. This flight was excellent, excellent flight. Yo soy muy I seriously started planning about a year ago, and I always start a trip like this by purchasing as much weather information as I can for an area. Planning the uh, flight legs is a uh, part that I enjoy a lot. Each leg, you have to find a place that's a secure launch and it's a safe landing. I like to, to fly um, 30 to 50 miles a day so that it's a uh, a challenge but it's also a reasonable amount so that uh, you've got good chance of success and then you still have time to buy fuel and find a hotel and settle down for the night so it's a, this is a gentleman's sport it's, it's not a marathon where um, everybody is dead tired by the end <laughs> arrêté en bordure d'autoroute. Euh, la montagne est magnifique, mais malheureusement, euh, le vent est de mauvaise direction. Donc, euh, ben, c'est le parapente. The slope on this hill, it's almost vertical. It is almost vertical. Donc, maintenant, après avoir été euh, en haut au décollage parapente à face à maillot, les conditions étaient euh, pas bonnes. Donc, heureusement qu'on a nos moteurs. On se prépare et euh, on décolle euh, faire un tour.
volé au moteur euh, ce matin, il est 4 heures. Il n'y a presque pas de vent ici en haut. Et on va tenter de faire juste un petit sled pour aller rejoindre la, part, la plage pardon, où on a décollé au moteur. I think what uh, I'm going to do is watch. <laughs> And if you clear that little ridge there, I might follow you. I got three of my buddies here are going to try to fly down to the beach that we just came from, which should be uh, achievable, but uh, I'm going to be the last to launch. If they make it past the first ridge, I might follow them. first sharp ridge yeah. and I knew that there was like a big bowl on that side so I wasn't sure whether I was going to try to get some ridge lift and then all of a sudden I started feeling like speed bumps boom, 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 boom. and I'm like oh my. I look up check all my equipment and I look at my knees and they're my knees are shaking <laughs> de Pisco, est arrêté dans un vignoble et euh, ceux qui ont mon âge ou un peu plus vieux vont se souvenir, ça goûte un peu le vin Saint-Georges. went perfect. Um, perfect launches, landings, um, everybody made it from point A to point B. The trip was flawless. We hit some 
strong winds and I had a mishap when I landed and I sheared both of my my J bars off of my machine. And here we are in Peru on a Sunday afternoon. Put this back together again so that I can fly tomorrow. On this trip, we told us straight from the beginning that we're gonna fly safe. And I'm very happy that's what we've done. On this trip, we didn't want to break any of our gear, so we stayed far away from vehicles. Our goal was to fly the entire coast north of Lima. We were not there to have fun. So what's your plan for today? Uh, I'm sorry, I can't tell you. We, we wouldn't want to have it on tape. It's illegal. And who's going to make it? The only two of us are going to make the flight to try to keep the uh, footprint down. It's a nice, hazy, cloudy day, so hopefully it'll be hard to see us. And honestly, we're going to be below all of the buildings that are between the airport and the ocean. So. Not only are we out of the path of the planes, we're not even going to be visible from the airport. Yes, Luke, loud and clear. We are uh, one mile away, over. What end of the parking lot are you at, north or south? We're about 50 meters south from where we launched the other day. Roger. Get out of here. We were both set up, motors running. A policeman drives up in a blue pickup, gets out, gets on the radio. He's talking to Eric and tells us we can't launch. Eric does his best to try to talk him out of it, but ultimately we had to pack up and leave. So we went a couple of miles further south and launched behind a gas station where there were bushes so we could lay out our wings where nobody could see us, it was good. It was pretty bumpy and then we had to go low so we're getting all the air mass coming across the land. It was, it was challenging. They were just basically pushing dirt and trash out into the ocean. Yeah. It's crazy. It's some of the ugliest coastline I have ever seen in my life. It was a short trip, huh? <laughs> we are here at Paracas, and we arrived this morning around 10.30. It was light conditions, but within about 10 or 15 minutes, it became parfait, perfect for us to fly. It was a dream, just a dream. Wonderful, wonderful. Boom, 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 boomerang, baby, fly away, fly away.
It doesn't matter if or when, where or why, go and fly bye bye. Bye 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 baby bye bye. Amazing, and about an hour or two later, it started to pick up and get even more windy. 49 kilometers, it was a dream, just a dream.